In this section of the course, we are going to take the responsive site framework we created in the last section, and we're going to populate it from an adaptive widget library, which we'll create now. The primary focus of this section is also to introduce the repeater widget, which is new to version seven. We're going to use it to create an adaptive media list. We'll also create some interaction cases that facilitate some basic user interaction, like filtering our list. By the end of this section, we'll have created an e-commerce site that sells books, but you could easily use the widgets and files we will create to showcase any product or media item you want, because we're going to learn to work in a project agnostic way, building out the custom widget library we created in section five to create and manage generic UI patterns. We'll then customize these patterns to create our bookshop store. As you can see, we have the custom widget library we created in section five open. You can find this in the section five folder of your code pack. The slideshow tab is open. This file currently has no adaptive views, so we need to add these. These need to be identical to the template framework RP file we created in the last section, since we will use this as the base for our project. If you were to try and drag out an adaptive widget from a custom library, into a page and the views don't match, it will only load the base view of the widget. Let's set those views up now. So to reiterate, same as last time, the base view is our small view for devices with small viewports. And we're going to set up a medium view. This is for devices with viewports of 533 and above. The large view at 960 and above for larger screens and desktop devices. Again, to reiterate the design approach, we're not designing for specific devices, but a range of viewport dimensions. The small design for views up to 532, the medium for views between 533 and 959, and the large for 960 and above. Okay, at this point, you may want to run a quick test with your files to check that your view settings in the RPLIB match the RP by creating a quick adaptive test widget here and open it in the site framework RP file. If when you drag out the widget, the three views aren't showing the widget as you adapted it in the RP LIB file, check your view settings. You can do an import from RP operation to import the adaptive view settings if you find you're having difficulties with this process. Lastly, we're going to add some guides in. As you will see in the adaptive views, some guides are created automatically where the breakpoints are. However, these aren't necessarily correct. So I'm going to create a global guide at 320 in the base view by control dragging from the ruler. I'm going to load a 960 grid in the medium view and remove the surplus guides to the right. So it bands 560. I am going to create a 960 grid for the large view. Okay, 